Bonjour mes gourmands et bienvenue dans ma cuisine. J'espère que vous êtes bien prêts à préparer un autre plat aussi facile que délicieux. On today's menu, we have a Chinese street food dish, which I have been enjoying almost every morning during the time I was living in China. I remember heading to the office and stopping by this little stall where the uncle was serving those delicious hot treats fresh off the hot plate every morning. As this is street food, it calls for simple ingredients, but the simplicity of the ingredients does not transfer to the flavor at all. Let's prepare the crepe together. For two crepes, we'll need two sheets of wonton wrappers, flavorless oil for deep frying, 50 grams or 2.5 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, 150 ml or 10 tablespoons of water, one full egg, pepper to taste, one teaspoon of douban jiang, one teaspoon of tianmian jiang or hoisin sauce, black sesame seeds, which are optional, a cup of coriander and half a cup of spring onions, both chopped and cut into rings. We're going to start off by cutting the wonton wrappers into halves. Simple, right? Then we'll heat up some flavorless oil over medium high. Flavorless oils are groundnut oil, sunflower oil, or canola oil, for instance. You can check if the oil has reached the frying temperature by dipping in a corner of the wonton wrapper. If it starts throwing bubbles, then it's ready for deep frying. And with that said, deep fry the wrappers one by another until golden brown. Then transfer onto a paper towel to drain the excess oil. Wash and chop the coriander and the spring onion. Crack an egg and mix the egg yolk as well as the egg white together. In a skillet, heat up a tablespoon of cooking oil over medium high. While waiting for it to heat up, you can add the water to the flour and mix it up with a balloon whisk. Now that the oil is ready, add about half of the flour mix to the skillet and swirl it around to thinly coat the surface of the skillet. You can also use a crab spreader if you prefer doing so. When it's done by 75% of the set, pour half of the mixed egg onto the crab, top it off with some freshly ground pepper and flip it over. At this point, we are going to brush the other side with the dou ban jiang and the tian mian jiang before we add the coriander and the scallion. As the final step, we are going to place one or two pieces of fried wonton wrappers into the middle of the crepe and we're going to fold the sides in in order to transfer it onto a serving plate. Bon appétit! I hope you'll get to try out this recipe soon. The actual recipe for this dish calls for a blend of bean flour. However, for reasons of simplicity, I'm using regular all-purpose flour here. Of course, in China, the jian bean vendors would wrap them differently. But the hot plate they are using is so much bigger than our skillet, so we've just got to improvise a bit here. I know frying the wonton sheets can be kind of a tedious task, especially if you're making this dish only for yourself. So I suggest you to invite some guests over and enjoy them together. I'm sure you'll have a great time preparing them together. Or you could make this with some leftover wonton wrappers when you're making soup wonton or wonton tea. Remember to enjoy the cut as soon as you take them off the heat, otherwise the wonton wrappers could get soft and hence won't taste as good as they should. I highly recommend you not to skip adding the fried wonton sheets as they do add flavor to the whole cut. And lastly, while the original jianbing is made with tianmian jiang, I prefer using the hoisin sauce for this recipe, since I think the hoisin sauce has a lighter flavor to it. Thank you so very much for joining me in the kitchen this week. If you like this recipe, then please take a second to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if you'd just like to say hi, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel to get weekly updates on more delicious and easy recipes for Asian food and international patisseries. And I hope to see you next Friday again when I have another recipe prepared for you. Until then, bye!